hello everyone today we are going to change our this uh, beam rotation code uh, and we're going to we are going to rewrite in C++ so that this rotation will have a constant rotation speed as it change the target as it change the rotation earlier we had uh, somewhat inconsistent inconsistent speed that have a at it closed so to the edge it has a it was rotating slower in the middle it was rotating faster so and also we had a part of our code within the animation blueprint and we are going to transfer that into the c++ code and we are going to redo that part here so let's see how to do that today so as you can see here now this um, beam rotation speed is not uh, not uniform in the middle it's very fast but it get near to the end it gets closer and also it don't exactly go to this target one position and target two position so I want to have full control. I want to have a constant speed, constant rotation speed uh, for the beam and it should completely go to the defined target locations that I have assigned here. And also part of the function, actually part of the logic is happening in the animation blueprint. So I don't have complete control over the speed of the turret rotation in my uh, actor blueprint or actor class because of this part so i'm going to remove this part and i'll keep it for testing maybe i will still need it i'll directly connect this rotation to whatever the rotation we need so the blueprint animation blueprint all it does is set in the rotations that's all and i am going to implement all the full control of that behavior the rotation behavior including the part that we did here uh, we, within c++ so let's go to our code so here what we are doing is we are updating uh, the look at rotation uh, of the animation blueprint within this function but here we use this uh, yeah, we, directly, we directly set it uh, and since we change our animation blueprint to directly set the rotation it won't have any smooth turning so if I play the game you can see this is what happens at the moment see it just changed the rotation so I'm going to change this function to have a smooth rotation behavior with the constant say, constant speed or constant rotation speed so how can we do that so instead of directly calculating the rotation we need to set and setting it like this I'm going to cal uh, let's define a new variable F rotator. Let's call it um look rotation. And also this is not a pointer or oh, this is not any anything complicated. This is only used for do some to do some simple calculations, so we don't need to uh use this u property in this case and also we need another variable all right so the reason i defined look rotation here is so that uh, i won't have to i can update it and change it towards the exact rotation we need so I'll add another F rotator 
this loop rotation is more like the current rotation we have at the moment that I will be use it in such a way and another rotation target rotation this is the rotation we need to have and another rotation F rotator rotation delta so this would represent the difference between the current rotation and the rotation that we need to have and we don't need to expose these into the blueprints or need to edit them in blueprint instance or any detail panel so we don't need to use your properties well you prefer the specifiers for these variables and also one more thing here this number defines the length of an iteration uh, define the gap time gap between this timer uh, calls so this change beam target will be called in every five seconds so i'll define a variable so that we can use it instead of that constant i have given uh, but this has to be a variable that I should be able to edit from the blueprint in the details panel. So I have to use your property. Uh, so I'll call it your property edit and layer. default value values five. Oh, the type is float and I'll use this value here instead of this five. so when you define a float value you don't have to use 5.0 it's not necessary to use 5.0 if you don't know and if you don't know you can just put uh, dot and add if that also works in case you don't know and this time account i don't think i need to use it as a uh, your property right okay now we have the variables we need and when we change the target in the timer change beam target here so i'll calculate the target rotation and the rotation delta so we can do that here after changing the beam target uh, we have this simple code where i um, calculate it so let me uh, this is I forgot to look at sorry so we look at rotation that's why I have an error so uh, let me copy this part here so I can calculate the target rotation actually this is target location not look at rotation so uh, This is the rotation we need to have. Target rotation. Oh, T is messy. Press Control R so you can refactor it. Right. So now we have uh, calculated the target rotation. Then we can calculate the rotation delta this would be the difference between the target rotation and the current look at rotation so target rotation minus look at rotation so initially we would have zero here but that's okay 
I'll normalize this rotation delta in case we have some odd values. So we will have the shortest rotation. Right. Mm. Then uh, what I have to do is so this look at uh, I don't need to do this calculation now. And this also. So we know the target rotation. Uh, what I need to do is change in this look at rotation slowly into that target rotation. So plus equals. So what I'm going to do is increment this look at rotation uh, by adding rotation delta. Let's have some multiplier here. Uh, let's say 0 0.01. And this should work up to some level now. Let's compile and see. Oh, it's still playing. And one more thing since I haven't multiplied this part with the delta time, this one. Uh, this will depend on the rotation change will depend on the frame rate so to fix that we will have to multiply this value with the delta time let's do that as the next step right uh, now let's see we should have some additional variables now here Yeah, so if I play, now you can see the rotation speed is constant, but it's not actually stopping uh, in the target we have defined because we don't have a condition for that, but this is working. So let's work on it now. So first I'll define a multiplier here. Let's uh, call it this has to be a u property that i can change in the details panel so u property edit anyway i'll call it rotation um, for you i'm not sure if for you would be too fast i don't know so let's start with the slower value a lower value no let's just start with one and we can change this value in the details panel and i'll multiply i'll, I'll use that rotation I don't get the suggestion yet because central essence is working. So to make sure that I don't have errors, let me copy paste. Okay, and we need the delta time. So let's add delta time as a parameter here. So not just doing that is not enough. We need to add that here as well. Okay, done. And then uh, let's multiply this with delta time. What's the error? There should not be any errors. Um, yeah, and one more thing. Uh, we should not add this rotation delta if we have already reached the target rotation. So if look at rotation, 
at rotation equals target rotation and we can give a tolerance for the tolerance let's use one if this is true we can return we can do an early return we don't have to do any of these things so that means we don't need to rotate anymore we have reached our target rotation right compile let me quickly check the target rotation Oh, we got an error. Oh, right. We need to pass delta time here. Right. Right, so it reached the target and it stopped there. It reached the target, it stopped there. Good. So where is where are those values I can change? CP beta here. Change target or wait chain target delay right this is chain target delay this is rotation rate let's try something like point three Okay. Right, that works. Point two would be better. And if we need the beam to wait for a while at the edge, all we have to do is increase in this change target delay. Okay, so in the next episode, I will work on uh, this. So if I place a cube, like this, and when the, let me put it over here, you can see the beam is crossing it so what I'm going to do is the beam length should be automatically adjusted when it hits a surface so that's the part I'm going to work on next for for that I'm going to, I'm going to use some line tracers and some coding to adjust dynamically adjust the length and offset of the beam so let's see how to do that part in the next episode and thanks for watching as always project files will be available in the patreon page and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye